the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy Blessed and glorious Lady Theopolis, never Virgin Mary, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. After the evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. And the angel of peace, the faithful God, and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the
country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy church, and for all of our fathers and brethren, the orthodox who part of this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of sins of the servants of God, the faithful of this holy temple, and all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and sojourn in this community. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who awake thy great and rich mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. And he spent the beginning of his life in monasticism in Egypt, uh, and then made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land and settled in the Jordan, where he established a monastery, and there were 70 uh, brothers with St. Gerasimus. And he had a very strict rule of prayer and fasting, uh, where they would go off by themselves, but then they would return again on the weekends to celebrate the divine services. Um, so they were kind of idiorhythmic uh, monastics. They would both spend time by themselves, but they would also spend time together. And I believe it was during his time that the rule of going off for the season of Lent and then returning to the monastery for Pascha, Holy Week and Pascha, was established. That's important, especially as we're about to celebrate Great Lent, because there's another monk later, about a century later, who came uh, from that monastery. His name is Zosima. And Zosima is the one who ministered to Mary of Egypt. 
And so the monastery that was established by him in the 5th century uh, is still around to this day. And when I was in uh, the Holy Land, I visited that monastery. Uh, and it made quite an impression on me. This church is, is quite, uh, the churches there, and there's many churches, are quite beautiful, and they're centuries old. Um, and the desire for this man uh, to love the Lord Jesus Christ and to gather these monastics together created the groundwork so that one of those monastics could later uh, minister to Mary in Egypt and give us that beautiful story of repentance. So we see again how connected the lives of the saints are and how the activities of a person may never, they may, have, may never understand the great depth of what their particular vocation, what it would offer the church. Because the life of St. Mary of Egypt uh, has inspired people to repentance all those years later. And it's such a blessing that there was a monastery there at that time through God's providence. And that was established by Yerasimus. And of course, the story about him and his lion, where he ministered to this lion and he became his companion. Uh, even so much so were they connected that upon Yerasimus' death, it helped not only um, prepare him, but then it soon after died. And for those of us who have had close connections with animals, we understand there's a deep connection. And that's, there's, there's something good about there. There's something holy about our love for the created world, uh, even uh, our pets. Now, I'm not a cat person, I know many of you are, but um, uh, I think I could go for a cat like this. <laughs> you know, no one would mess with me. Um, but uh, I just wanted to share that, that little story. Also, to let you know that next Wednesday, we're gonna have Vespers, but it's gonna be a little bit different. I want you to pay attention because it's Cheese Fair Week. And during Cheese Fair Week, we're already getting into the Lenten cycle. Some of us think it just gets dropped on us on Forgiveness Sunday, but that's not the way it works. Actually, this next week is going to be a week of, of uh, on Wednesday and Friday, there's going to be this, these services that are going to be introduced, and even the Lenten prayer of St. Ephraim is going to be introduced. I want you to pay attention to that, because the services give us an indication of what's coming up, um, as well as what we're currently celebrating. So the service next week is going to be a little bit different, uh, but don't worry, uh, we haven't lost track, and that's the way it's supposed to be. This is a part of the way the church is preparing us to enter into the holy season of Lent. And finally, we do have some oil from St. Gerasimus. And so if any of you are, are wanting to come forward and be anointed, I'd be glad to do that um, at, the, at the conclusion of the service now. Uh, but Bible study is still at 7.30. Uh, those of you that are able to uh, participate um, will be going on at 7, 7.30. And we may be finishing up Romans today. So um, let's see what happens. God bless you all. This oil was from the lampada that hung right above St. Erasmus' relics. Um, I think I told you that when I went to Father Seraphim, I had all these little vials and I would scoop a little oil out every place where I went um, just so I could bring it back to you. The praise of St. Erasmus. Christ of God's mercy. The praise of St. Erasmus.
prayers of St. Erasmus, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. The prayers of St. Erasmus, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy.